these are god tier gacha games that still being played till this day and this list is based on revenue each month to make sure that the games are still alive and doing well and obviously not a dead game these gacha games are still making millions or even tens of millions still this day every month or every half a year keep this in mind too that this is not in a specific order so it's just numbers along the way here are some god tier gacha games you should definitely try it out once Number 20, we have 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross. It is a fun mobile game where you can dive into the world of the popular anime. In this game, you get to collect and play as your favorite characters, build up your team, and take on turn-based battles using cool special moves. The game follows the anime's storyline and has plenty of quests, events, and modes to keep you entertained. It's a great way to experience the adventure and action of the series right on your phone. And it is quite fun and it is still a pretty lively game and the community is quite insane. Next we have Persona 5 The Phantom X. Now I know this is only in Taiwan and Korea but there is an English patch for this game so feel free to do so and play so and you can just sign up anywhere everywhere you wanna there is no VPN block which is really nice and Persona 5 Phantom X is a mobile game based on the popular Persona 5 console game of course obviously and it is a spin-off it is developed by Perfect World Games and licensed by Atlas so yes it is official it offers a similar experience to the original game but tailored for mobile devices now there is a PC version of this game, obviously. Players take on the role of the new protagonist, Wonder, joining the Phantom Thieves to explore dungeons, or enemies, and live out a high school life. The game combines turn-based combat, character development, and social simulations elements, allowing players to build relationships and manage daily activities. It's a fresh way to enjoy the rich world and engaging story of Persona 5 on the go. And the combat, everything in this game is actually pretty good. I really do like the game. And they are announcing that it is gonna be having a global release soon. So, pretty nice. Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis Surprisingly that this game is still making a ton of money and people are still playing this game. It is of course developed by Square Enix, it combines elements from the original Final Fantasy VII as well as its spin-offs like Crisis Core, Advent Children, Before Crisis, and Dirge of Cerberus. The game features episodic content allowing players to experience key moments and characters' stories in a new modern format. Ever Crisis includes turn-based combat and updated graphics, blending nostalgic elements with fresh gameplay mechanics. It is designed to give both new players and longtime fans a comprehensive and engaging way to explore the expensive Final Fantasy VII lore on their mobile devices. So if you're on PC and you're waiting for Rebirth, I think this game will accompany you for like 2-3 months. So give it a go, it is free on Steam. And the game looks stunning, so why not? on the screen to move there and then select your action fire emblem heroes in this game you summon heroes from various fire emblem titles to build a team and battle through different maps and storylines the game features turn-based combat on a grid so basically the same as fire emblem any fire emblem but only a bit 2d i guess where you move your units and attack enemies strategically each hero has unique abilities and you can level them up equip them with skills and customize your team fire emblem heroes also includes various modes events and updates to keep the gameplay fresh and exciting making it a great way to enjoy the classic strategy and tactics of fire emblem on your phone Heaven Burns Red. Of course, this game is very, very popular, even though it is only available in Japan. But don't worry, guys, they have announced it and they have launched the trailer for their global release. So, yeah. Made by Riot Flyer Studios and Key. You play as part of an elite group fighting mysterious invaders with turn based battles and deep character stories. Yeah, the story in this game is just very, very good. The game combines beautiful anime graphics strategic gameplay, and emotional storytelling 
for an engaging experience. So if you want to experience a good story in a gacha game, then this game is for you. Power to be. An apple a day. Reverse 1999. It is a mobile game with a time travel team. Developed by Blue Park, Blue Poch, I don't know how to pronounce it. The game features stunning visuals and a unique storyline where players navigate different eras to alter history. The gameplay includes strategic turn based battles, character collections, and development. With its captivating narrative and engaging mechanics, Reverse 1999 offers a fresh and immersive experience for RPG fans. Punishing Grey Raven, this is probably the best action RPG out there. So PGR is an action RPG set in a dystopian future where players control a team of cyborgs, the Grey Raven unit. It features stylish real-time combat with slick combos and special moves, so if you are thinking about Devil May Cry, then yeah. I think this game has a better Devil May Cry ass than the mobile game for Devil May Cry itself. So set against a visually stunning cyberpunk backdrop, players can unlock and upgrade characters with unique abilities, offering a dynamic and immersive experience in a futuristic world. Woodring Waves. This is again made by Kuro Games, the one who also make Punishing Grey Raven. It is an open world gacha RPG with a lot of things to do. And stop saying that this is a Genshin Impact clone because it is not. The gameplay is where it's at though. Super fast pace, challenging, and rewarding. With three players to control combining each skills and elements to make a satisfying combo to defeat your enemies. Oh, and it got this cool parry mechanic, so... It is already better than Genshin Impact, man. Next, of course, we have Aether Gazer. Now, I personally like this more than PGR, but you do you. So Aether Gazer is an action gacha RPG, similar concept to Punishing Grey Raven. It is fast-paced and rewarding too. Now, the reason why I do like this game more than PGR is because it's simplicity where you can just tap a button to use their skills, unlike PGR. And visually, it is similar to PGR or any mobile anime RPG, so this game is really easy to get into and hard to master. Any damage it receives will be greatly increased. Path to Nowhere. Well, basically, this game is similar to Arknights. It's a tower defense gacha game that focuses a lot on the story and everyone loves it because it is that good. Surprisingly too, the game is still doing very very well and pretty much alive and people are willing to spend money on this game because of its story. And to be honest, the graphics, the visuals is also pretty good because you know it's not that chibi like Arknights and people do love a more mature aesthetics. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, Pet to Nowhere is still very much alive and you should Definitely try this game out if you like a tower defense game. And of course, up next we have Arknights. Arknights is a popular mobile tower defense game developed by Hypergrift and published by Yostar, who also publish Aether Gazer. The game combines a strategic tower defense mechanics with RPG and gacha elements, featuring a diverse roster of operators, each with unique abilities and roles such as Vanguard, Guard, Defender, Sniper, Medic, Specialist, and Casters. Holy, that's a lot. And regular updates, events, and collaborations with other franchises keep the game fresh and engaging. Arknights has garnered a large fan base and inspired a wide range of merchandise including figurines and clothing and many many more so yeah this game is selling super super well solo leveling arise now this is an action gacha rpg same as aether gazer or pgr but it is of course newer and it is released I think in 2024. So yeah, it is still very new and AI combat, yes, this game has autoplay. 
unlike either Gazer or PGR, but the AI is actually pretty smart. You can auto dodge in this game, you can auto attack in this game, you can auto ultimate in this game, and actually pretty fun. Visuals aesthetics is also very very pleasing, so you really don't have any complaint to play this game. Maybe the only complaint is just that the power creep is a bit, I don't know, like, like you get stuck in that difficulty because it is too hard. And before it's just one hitting all the enemies, so yeah, not that good, but try it yourself. I still do recommend you guys uh, to play this game out because it is actually a pretty fun game. <laughs> Looks fun. Next, we have Dragon Ball Legends. This is very, very famous, man. Very famous till this day. So, this one is a mobile fighting game by Bandai Namco, released in 2018. And it has an original story mode with a new character named Shallot. Uh, the game combines card based moves with character actions, and players can summon new characters using Chrono Crystals, basically the in game currencies of this game. So, with frequent updates, events, and competitive PvP mode, it maintains an active player community. The game employs a gacha system and offers an in-app purchase for premium currencies and items. I know it's not uh, it's not very appealing to the ears, you know, but Dragon Ball Legends is a pretty fun game, a pretty fun mobile fighting game. And nobody does it better than Dragon Ball Legends, honestly. So, give this game a go. Nikkei, oh my god, Nikkei. You dive into you dive into a post-apocalyptic world where you control a squad of badass anime character styles called Nikes or butts and asses. Each with their own unique weapons and abilities or boobies and buttocks. The gameplay is a blend of third-person shooting and strategic team management, where you aim and fire at waves of mechanical enemies while taking cover. As you progress, you collect and upgrade Nikkei's through a gacha system, build your dream team or your dream waifus, and tackle various missions and events. It's all about finding the right mix of characters and tactics to take down tougher and tougher foes, all while enjoying the vast varieties of assets. And of course, engaging storyline. Fate Grand Order. This one is very very old but still very gold. This game is very compelling because of its immersive storytelling with strategic turn-based combat where players assume the role of master summoning legendary heroes known as servants to battle threats across the various historical and mythological settings. With a diverse roster of characters, high quality artwork, and top-notch voice acting, the game offers a rich narrative experience enhanced by regular updates and events. The strategic gameplay requires thoughtful team composition and skillful use of abilities, while the gacha system allows players to collect and upgrade their favorite servants. Its vibrant community and accessible free-to-play model make FGO a standout title in the mobile gaming world. And this game is still very much alive till this day and still making millions every month. So yeah, try this game out, man. It's really good. Zenless Zone Zero. Now this is a very surprising game for me because I thought the gameplay would be super repetitive, but holy shit, this game is actually satisfying and rewarding, uh, even though it is very simple like, uh, like Genshin Impact. But I don't know, man, the, the action, okay? So the fast paced and dynamic and very very fluid combo oriented action where players can seamlessly chain attacks, dodges and special abilities. Each character offers unique abilities and weapons allowing for varied playstyles and strategic switching during battles. Oh man, it is super satisfying. The gameplay requires precise timing for combos, skillful dodging like perfect dodging I mean, and, and countering enemy attacks to maximize effectiveness. Some dungeons keep encounters fresh and unpredictable, like, you know, 
like the roguelike mechanic in this game it is super super good and the visuals man oh my god the aesthetics alone i say that this is like the best one in any gacha games in the market right now it is beautiful it is over the top it is i don't know it's just flashy but it's not hurting your eyes so it, it, it's just like enhancing the gameplay on its own oh my god it's just, it's just amazing this game is my favorite game well my favorite gacha game as of right now i know there's wujing waves there's genshin impact and a lot more like you know reverse 1999 it has a very appealing art style for sure but for me this one hands down the best Well, we have Summoner's War, uh, yes, because this game is still alive and doing super well every month. It is still collecting millions and millions of dollars. Uh, well, do I really need to explain what Summoner's War is? It's like a turn-based gacha game, like the first turn-based gacha game. Well, not actually the first first, but like the first very popular. And it is still alive till this day, unlike uh, Seven Nights. The, the game's visuals and aesthetics, of course, it is timeless. And the artwork, man, the, the skins, like everything in this game is actually quite nice for now. And of course, because this game is very, very old, the quality of life in this game is pretty amazing. So I do like it, really, really like it. So if you are planning to go back to this game, please feel free to do so. And I do recommend you guys to check this game out even in 2024 because the quality of life itself. So they do have a very, very good AI. And of course, one of my favorite gacha game is Epic 7. Yeah, Epic 7 is still making millions, man, till this day. So Epic 7 excels with its stunning anime-inspired visuals and fluid animations, offering engaging turn-based combat where players can strategize with a diverse roster of heroes. The game features a compelling storyline with rich lore and character backstories, complemented by regular updates and events that keep the experience fresh. It's high quality artwork and strategy gameplay combined with a balanced gacha system for acquiring new characters contribute to a deep, immersive, and visually appealing RPG experience. <laughs> Next, we have Honkai Star Rail. Man, I used to love this game, but I don't know, it really gets boring. But it is a very, very good and exciting and super rewarding and super satisfying turn-based RPG with a cool sci-fi story and stunning visuals. You get to collect and play with a diverse cast of characters, each with their own unique abilities and dive into a rich narrative set in a futuristic world. The game's got plenty of explorations, side quests, and regular updates that keep things fresh and engaging, making it a fun and visually impressive ride for RPG fans. And there's no doubt that this game is very very beautiful and it's beautifully crafted, the quality of life is good, the auto, like the AI is good, the gear system is also pretty good, I know it's not the best, but it is simple and it does keep you grinding and grinding all the time. I know it's not very appealing again to hear grinding and grinding, but this, this is a free to play game and of course if you like the grind, if you like that gacha RPG grind, then this game will suit you the best and... You know, if you don't have time to play it manually, this game of course have auto mode. And what I love the most about this game is the roguelike uh, dungeon every week. Um, they restart the rewards and stuff, so I do like that a lot. Well, I think it's because I also like roguelike games in general, so yeah. So yeah, try this game out, it's really good, it will not waste your time, it is also free to play friendly. <laughs> Well, the last but not the least is of course Genshin Impact. This game is still making tens of millions every fucking month, man. I don't know how they are still making millions and millions, tens of millions every month, but there you go, Genshin Impact. I don't know what else to say, so Genshin Impact is really famous for its vast, beautifully designed open world, dynamic elemental combat system, and diverse roster of characters. High quality graphics and an impressive soundtrack and an engaging storyline with deep lore enhance its appeal. 
But comparing this game to Honkai Star Rail, I think this game is quite lacking in the quality of life department. And Genshin Impact is not as nice as Honkai Star Rail or Zenless Zone Zero. They don't really have that quality of life goodness. And for me, the gameplay of Genshin Impact is not as challenging as uh, Zenless Zone Zero. I mean, like, it's not challenging and satisfying as Zenless Zone Zero or even as Honkai Star Rail. I know Honkai Star Rail is like a turn-based RPG, it's not an action one, but when you break an enemy in Honkai Star Rail, it is super satisfying. Like you are you feel that you are smarter and you feel that your character is stronger, but in Genshin Impact, you don't feel that. The satisfaction in Genshin Impact is only when you are combining your elements or when you discover some new elemental combination. That's probably it for me, at least. So yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so these are all of the god tier gacha games that are still making millions still this day. Wow. So I do really recommend you guys to try at least one of these games. I know maybe gacha game is like wasting your time, but for me, I think it's not. And you don't have to spend a single dime. And honestly, playing one of these free-to-play games, gacha games, they are as good as playing a paid game. Well, at least if you have grinded enough and if they have enough content. Uh, for example, if you play Honkai Star Rail, you will feel that you are playing a paid game. But um, yeah, you do have to grind and spend money to progress faster, but you don't have to, right? So yeah, God tier gacha games. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys again on the next one. Bye guys.